Exactly. So when you, when when we say, oh oh, uh, we've done that before. Once you start that, everybody stops uh, putting ideas. So exactly. we won't have a great and idea. And these that are day. What, we, what we call the idea killers. Yes, yeah. definitely. Well, Hi, this is Hazri Idros and welcome back to Creative Fridays and uh, today we have a very special guest alright he's actually what we call him the networking evangelist and he's also the founder of the Introverts Network Asia alright and with me we have Mr. Marvin Yo. hi how are you Marvin how are you I'm good thanks Hazri. thank you yeah. thank you thank you for coming to Creative Friday shows <laughs> All right. Pleasure. So we're going to talk about creativity. All right. From probably your point of view, what is creativity to you, Mavin? Yeah, creativity. I think uh, uh, comes into place when we have a, a situation, mm -hmm. uh, a problem, and we just want to find a, a different way to uh, solve a problem. Ah. You know? And I, I guess, uh, being a creative. Uh, help you uh, achieve things that uh, other other people don't. Sure. Different way of doing things. In in that sense, probably you could share with us um, how do you then apply creativity? I mean, in life, on business, or maybe in your personal experience. Do you have do you have some? Yeah, sure. Uh, I think one that comes top to my out of mine is a uh, networking for introverts. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that one is an oxymoron because when I say introverts network, you know, people will laugh at it. <laughs> So I really have to find a creative way of uh, uh, getting introverts mm. to come out of their, uh, their cubicles, come out of their, 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 their rooms, uh, come out of, from online to offline. Ah. Yeah, so they, I really want them to come out and connect with people because uh, it's very enriching experience. Mm -hmm. uh, but because of most of them, they either shy away or they feel a bit self-conscious and, and, uh, or they lack confidence in uh, connecting with people. Mm. So I guess uh, one of the ways is uh, uh, because uh, I need to entice them mm -hmm. to come out, you know, join us at the meetup. You know? uh, I have to assure them that it's not a large group. And if it's a large group, we'll break up into smaller groups. Okay, That's one way, okay. I guess, uh, you know, uh -huh, because uh -huh. uh, the introverts uh, feel uncomfortable uh, in large groups. They prefer one to one, one to small groups. Uh -huh. So I'd be very uh, conscious of what the preference is. Wonderful. So it's all about connecting with people. Yes, yes. I yeah. want the introverts to uh, connect people, mm -hmm. not just uh, uh, online, you know, and that's where they can hide behind the cameras, but mm -hmm. really to come out and uh, shake a warm hand, you know, and make okay. eye contact. So I guess one of the ways is uh, I came up with three different kinds of gender. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah. The first one is uh, what I call the coffee and conversation. Ah. Yeah. So that's very simple. That actually means social networking. You, say. Ah. You, you come to a place at 3 p.m. in the afternoon, find a nice uh, cafe, uh, get your coffee, have a couple, and then you interact with the people one-to-one, uh, one-to-two, one one-to-three. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we give them opportunities to just uh, interact at, at, at their own uh, comfort level. Mm. Yeah. The second one, which has been going on for four years now, is Whoa. what we call yeah the inspiration and interaction. Inspiration and interaction. Yeah. So that one, uh, I, I usually invite a speaker, uh -huh. talk for about 30, 40, 45 minutes. Okay. You spoken at one of them. Oh, yes, that's what. That's what. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's so we, we get them to a meeting and say, hey, we have a speaker. You know, he's going to inspire you with something. Uh -huh. You know, uh, and. Um, uh, so some people come for the talks, mm -hmm. but after that talk, uh, then they, after they warmed up, right, then they will uh, start uh, having conversations with the, the, the people who, who show up. Mm. So the, they may be inspired by the, the speaker, by the talk, and then they uh, interact with the, the other introverted individuals. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. But I might surprise you, some extroverts show up too. You know? <laughs> Yeah, so the third one is uh, where uh, my experience really is, is uh, business networking. Mm -hmm. It's a structured way for introverts to network. Mm -hmm. And uh, I used to call it the referrals conversation. Wow, wow. Yeah, because we, we, we organize the way they interact, uh, break them up into groups, give them questions, mm -hmm. and then so kind of lead them on, facilitate the meeting so that mm -hmm. they won't feel uh, at a loss how to initiate conversation. We give okay. them the pointers, you know. Ah. Yeah, and then you know, when, when the meeting uh, moves on, uh, continues, uh, soon they feel comfortable, they start talking about themselves, and uh, hopefully the objective is met, which is I found a referral that 
you may be looking for. Ah. So we say, oh, we talk about our business, talk shop, then hey, we might find a referral at that networking okay. meeting. So these are. I like to think creative ways for me to get the introverts to come and meet us. Wonderful, wonderful. So these are your tactics. Yeah, your creative say, tactics yeah, to, to bring them over. Yeah, strategic. Yeah. Strategic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so before we actually end the session, probably you could share with the audience one or two tips on how anyone could embrace the innovative or creative culture in them. Yeah. I think most important is the, the, the having an open mind. Mm. Yeah, because we cannot uh, embrace uh, creativity when we all fixed, you know, uh, we, we, we all grew up educated this way, uh, then uh, we, 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 we go through all the regimental, uh, mm. you know, uh, in, in the course of living, uh, we have to uh, open our mind so that we can uh, uh, allow new ideas to come. And top of mind also comes is uh, uh, sessions of masterminding. Mm. And I remember when I was trained in this area, we said, uh, don't kill any uh, ideas uh, too soon, too premature, you know. So we say you always throw all the ideas on the table and then go back and reflect and shortlist which are the best three ideas you want to apply. Without the creativity, I think we won't get the best ideas. So open mind. Yeah. yeah. So throw everything you can on the table. Yeah. Just let all the ideas flow down. Yes, that's right. Then you pick the best ones, right? That's right. Yeah, because yeah. there's no ideas are bad ideas, right? Totally. Yeah, because yeah. we say no at the first glance, people just don't want to contribute. Exactly. So oh. when, when we say, oh, oh, we've done that before. Once you start that, everybody stops uh, putting ideas. So we exactly. won't have a great idea. And these are what we, what we call the idea killers. Yes, yeah. definitely. Melvin, thank you very much for you, the Arvin. wonderful session we had today. My pleasure. And we hope that uh, this information is very suitable for the audience. And uh, so if you want to know more about us, just look at the uh, information below and contact any of us. So with this, Hazrul Iru signing off, Creative Fridays. Alright, see you guys. Bye-bye.